Welcome to Guiding Bolt Gaming. I'm Jessica, and today we're going to brainstorm 60 different ways to start a D&D campaign other than opening up in a tavern. Now, if you want to start your campaign in a tavern, go for it. Many think it's cliche, but campaigns use this opening so often because it's actually a great way to begin. A tavern is not only a good place for the characters to first come together, but it's a logical place for them to meet the locals and those visiting town. It's also a great place to hear town news and gossip, and it's a good neutral setting for the players to get into role-playing their new characters. All that being said, if you're looking for something fresh, I've got 60 ideas for you today. The format of today's video is a little different, so we'll be testing that too. Let's get started. Up first, the king is hosting a battle royal to discover the best warriors his kingdom has to offer so he can send his newly found champions off on a quest. Think Shrek here. Remember that scene near the beginning of the first Shrek movie when Lord Farquaad is hosting a tournament to find someone to rescue Princess Fiona for him? Yeah, time to find the best ochres and talking donkeys. 2. All the PCs wake up in a dungeon cell with no memory of how they got there. They must now work together to plan a prison escape. 3. The PCs start in the waiting room of their spy master. They've all been summoned to his chambers, but have been hired for different reasons. They don't previously know one another. 4. The party wakes up strapped to stone altars surrounded by red hooded figures that are chanting. They have no idea how they got there, but they quickly fear they're about to be sacrificed. 5. The party is approached by a man who claims to be stuck in a time loop. He says they've already helped him before and is very close to figuring out how to break free from the loop. He can provide the party with any evidence they ask for. Yep. We're mimicking the Groundhog Day movie here. 6. The players find themselves at a local festival. There are many games and tournaments to test out their skills and abilities. 7. Start near the coast on a continent or island where all the people are being ushered onto boats to escape a plague spreading through the land. 8. All the players are attending the funeral of a mutual friend or former mentor. In the reading of the will, each player receives a piece of a special map. 9. The PCs gather at a sanctioned guild hall and are assigned to a group to carry out jobs. 10. Each party member has been summoned by the local magistrate for questioning related to the death of someone or some theft of something important. 11. The party has been brought back to life and must now go on a quest to repay the debt. 12. Session 0 has the party thwarting a terror attack at a religious festival. The campaign proper is then set a few months later when everyone who participated is summoned to investigate the cult responsible. 13. The party meets at a circus where the barbarian is hired security, the ranger is the animal handler, the bard is in the show, perhaps the ringmaster, and the others are in attendance to watch the show. 14. The party answers a wanted poster about someone's missing wife. The husband is actually the big bad end guy, but the party doesn't know this until after it's done and they've brought his missing wife back. 15. The entire party is killed by an invading god. Another god has them fight in the spirit realm so they can come back to life and be his champions to fight off this otherworldly invading patron. 16. The party wakes up buried alive. 17. The PCs are in the town square for a hanging. They can be in attendance or they can be the ones being hanged for crimes they did or didn't commit. 18. The players wake up in a ruin with many bodies all around. No memory of how they got there. Only a few supplies can be salvaged. The players must work together to make it to civilization hunted by an unknown enemy. 19. The players come upon a crossroad from different directions. They all decide to rest here for the night. Suddenly, a mysterious tavern pops up at sundown, square in the middle of the crossroads. All right, so this one includes a tavern, but I think there's a little bit more going on than the normal you meet in a tavern opening. 
20. The players awake, tied up in the back of a cave. They have been captured as food for some sort of monster or tribe. 21. They receive invites to a free drinks tent at a local festival that turns into a timeshare presentation. They can attempt to escape, or they get suckered in and must adventure to pay off their timeshare. 22. A massive masquerade ball is being held at the king's castle. All of the party is invited and then framed for his or another important figure's murder. 23. Everyone's in their final year of adventure training school. 24. The players have been drafted into a local war. 25. The PCs are traveling in a caravan that stops in a town where they are burning a child for being a witch because she won hide and seek. 26. The party wakes up hungover in the suite of an inn with a dead body of an important politician or nobleman and the race is on to clear their names. Think the hangover movie with this opening. 27. The PCs were all children in an orphanage and got sold into slavery together. 28. The players disappear one by one from their separate worlds and or activities and are summoned to the Fey Wild to help the Fey Queen. 29. The party converges at the same spot where a rumored treasure was said to be hidden. It turns out that the treasure belonged to the person who planted the rumors in the first place to ensure that he could hire the adventurers he needs for his goals or crusade. 30. The players were traveling on a large ship when a terrible storm hits. They wake up shipwrecked on an island. And I like this one because it forces players to be creative, and it's also good for teaching new players that they can do anything. On top of them, it lets the players slowly learn about things like AC and weapon stats as they acquire them. 31. All players are victims of a doppelganger who stole each of their identities. 32. Each PC ends up seeking refuge in the same cave before a brutal storm hits. 33. The party is traveling in a caravan train heading towards a large city, each for their own reasons, when it's ambushed by, insert any fun monster you want here. 34. Each PC wakes up with a pounding migraine to discover the sun has not risen this day. Rumors spread quickly. By mid-morning, those experiencing the migraine symptom are summoned to the local healer's enclave as the first and only clue about what is going on. 35. The PCs are all childhood friends that grew up together. Suddenly, things in the land are changing, and they must rise to the occasion if they want to save their province. 36. Everyone is a member of the same mercenary faction. They ride for fame, loot, and glory. 37. Each party member has been having strange recurring dreams involving the party as great heroes. They have never met each other before, until this chance meeting on the road. 38. The players meet in a fortune teller's tent. She proceeds to give each player their fortune. All the fortunes somehow weave together. 39. A wealthy noble hires the party to escort his teenage son, an arrogant, haughty youth, to visit the youth's uncle in another city. Unknown to the PCs, the uncle plans to murder his brother and his nephew so he can add his brother's wealth to his own. For that reason, he has hired a tribe of humanoids to take care of his nephew as the first stage in this plot. The pot party are also to be eliminated. 40. Start the game with everyone falling from the sky after waking up from being drugged and fired from a catapult. What makes it really fun is letting the players see you set a short timer for how long until they hit the ground and then watch them panic and get creative. I once saw a dwarf make a parachute out of his tent. He survived. 41. A strange plague has run rampant through the town, turning nearly everyone to stone. The PCs are unaffected and discover one another as they explore the silent town filled with statues. 42. The players are petrified as statues in a hall of heroes who are saved for later. 
They start to feel their extremities and suddenly hear a wizard screaming for people to hurry up. To all of their surprise, there is a dragon at the mouth of the cavern and an army of elves, dwarves, and gnomes fighting it off. 43. The PCs are all in town doing various things. The town bell begins to ring out. Guards begin shouting, Every able man and woman to the walls! Insert roving horde of baddies who regularly harass this town. The PCs then participate and organize the defense of the town. After they stand out in the defense, the leader of the town gathers the PCs and offers them a quest to stop the horde at its source. 44. Unknowingly, each PC is hired by an art collector to do the same job. When they all end up at the collector's door for meetings at the same time, she informs them that the take for the job is meant to be split amongst them, and each of them are chosen for certain skills. 45. All the PCs share a vision of falling through a void. They suddenly see a giant black obelisk before waking up in a clearing in the middle of the woods together. 46. The players have all been invited to the maiden voyage of the largest airship to ever sail the skies. Upon their arrival, it turns out that they were each just a tad bit late due to unforeseen circumstances. They make it just in time to watch the airship begin its flight with the other poorly timed adventurers. As the ship begins to reach its apex, a large explosion in the lower deck erupts. Then consecutively, three more explosions throughout the ship light up the sky. 47. The campaign opens on the River Styx, with the party going back to collect their respective bodies. 48. The PCs start in the unemployment line. 49. A merchant sold each party member a lemon item, like a cracked hammer, tin-plated armor, and such. The party meets outside his shop, which is coincidentally closed. 50. A local magistrate puts together a special task force of city guard and ex-cons to take down a city smuggling ring. 51. The players are recruited as test subjects to test a mage's tower defense system. 52. The different members of the party have been hired to steal a magic book from the king's archives. However, touching the book teleports you inside it. The characters must work together and survive to the end of the book's story, or find some other way to escape the book. 53. Each PC grabs something from their pantry or wardrobe and ends up in a dungeon of a human trafficking necromancer. I mean, I've always wanted to visit Narnia. This is kind of like the next Bex thing. Or maybe not? 54. Each PC is up in rotation as their guild's representative and must bring the accounting books and annual taxes due to the local duke. As they're waiting in line, the building is attacked and set on fire. 55. Each player is marked by Atlas, god of navigation, through a tattoo that is attached to the other player's essences. They have no idea what it leads to, but all they know is that the tattoo is actively moving with the ever-changing constellations, and it hums after a while meaning that they're close to one another. 56. Everyone received a message via courier to meet and greet a famous paladin, mage, or other NPC. 57. As you awake, the smell of salty air fills your nostrils and you hear a vaguely familiar voice scream, Port off the starboard bow, all ashore! After days of sailing, you finally reach land. D8. The party is in the crowd listening to the princess give the opening remarks at a jousting tournament when a portal opens and she's snatched up quickly before the portal disappears just as quickly as it appeared. 59. You've been working as a guard on a caravan. The village, town, or port you are approaching is the end of the line and the gold you have on your character sheet is the money you've been paid. And 60. The campaign opens with the players at the docks, each for their own purposes, awaiting ships to arrive on the next high tide. Two hours pass from the expected arrival when a single lone ship appears on the horizon. It's ablaze and no crew is found aboard. I hope you guys are feeling inspired after that list. Feel free to pick your favorite or roll a d10 then a d6 to get a random start for your next campaign. 
So, what did you think of the brainstorm video format? Do you like it? Do you prefer some of our other video formats better? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. If you found this video helpful, please consider hitting that subscribe button. We do put out new content every Saturday. Thanks for stopping by.